Wikipedia guide for the Underlight Angler. The first requirement is you need to be level 110. You're also going to need a tremendous amount of free time to be able to fish up all 18 rare fish for the achievement Bigger Fish to Fry. Now each of the five zones in Legion has three unique rare fish, including the Ocean Waters, which has its own three fish. Now the way to actually catch the rare fish in Legion is while fishing, you'll occasionally catch lures that you can apply to yourself to give you a chance to catch the corresponding fish. Luckily, Blizzard included an item to double our chances at catching the rare lures, which is purchased off of Conjurer Margos, who is found on the floating island northwest of Dalaran. The easiest way to get there is to use a goblin glider from the Pet Battle Arena through the broken wall in between the Violet Citadel and Enchanting Building. To get the drowned mana required to buy the arcane lures, you simply fish them up on this island. I recommend getting 20 to 30 of the lures, but you may need more or less depending on RNGs. First, let's talk about locations. Fishing on the ocean coasts or bigger rivers of the zones will give you both ocean fish and that zone's fish, so the most efficient way to start is in any zone you want ocean waters. You'll know if the water counts as ocean if there are black bear or pools in the water. As long as you're in a zone, all water can give you that zone's fish, but only fishing in ocean waters will give you the barracudas. So by starting off in, say, the big river just west of the Illidari stand in Azuna, you'll be able to catch all three fish from Azuna, as well as all three from the ocean. So once you've caught all the ocean fish, go to inland waters to guarantee you only get the zones fish. Alternatively, if you've caught all three of the zones fish but are still missing ocean fish, move on to the ocean waters of the next zone. That being said, the ocean lures are a stunned angry shark, which spawns a shark similar to the one you fight in the Brawler's Guild. Stay behind it when you kill it because it does a lot of damage to a cone in front. Once dead, you'll be able to loot several sea bottom squids. Next is the message in a beer bottle. You open that to receive an axe fish lure, which will let you catch the axe fish. Lastly for the ocean is Decayed Whale Blubber. Use this to spawn a ravenous fly, which is the lure for the ancient black barracuda. In Asuna, you'll fish up the Scrog Toenail, which after two minutes will spawn a murloc that upon death will give you the aromatic murloc slime to catch the Lay Shimmer Blenny. Fishing up a pearlescent conch will let you occasionally catch the Narthalas Hermits. Then there's my favorite type of lure, the Rusty Queenfish Brooch. This will let you see special fishing pools in Asuna that will let you catch a ghostly queenfish on every cast. In Valshara, using a rotten fishbone will summon a druid that will cast a buff on you, allowing you to catch ancient Foskill. Finding a nightmare nightcrawler will allow you to catch the terror fins. Catching a drowned thistle leaf will let you fish up the thorned flounders. In High Mountain, similar to Asuna's toenail, the funky sea snail will summon a drog bar that drops the salmon lure, allowing you to catch the ancient High Mountain salmon. Using the frost worm lure allows you to fish up cold river carps. Using the swollen murloc egg will summon a murloc that grants you a buff, allowing you to catch mountain puffers. In Stormheim, the Moosehorn Hook is a lure to catch a lure. Using it allows you to fish up a silver scale minnow, which is the lure for the thundering storm ray. The ancient Varekel Ring works the same as the rusty queenfish brooch, allowing you to see Udolfiusk schools in Stormheim. Finding a soggy drag scale allows you to fish up grey belly lobsters. In Soromar, fishing up the demonic detritus allows you to catch tainted rune scale kois. Use the sleeping murloc to wake it up, causing it to run around randomly throwing sea spine puffers everywhere. Simply walk over them to pick them up. Lastly, the Enchanted Lure will let you catch Magic Eater Frogs. Now that you have all these rare fish, use them near water to grant yourself a free plus 5 to fishing skill, or, if you're maxed already, sell them for 10 gold, each. Now occasionally, while fishing at 110, and after getting the bigger fish to fry achievement, you'll find a Luminous Pearl. This item starts the actual quest chain to get the rod. First, it'll send you to Khadgar in the Violet Citadel of Dalaran, who will then send you to Marsha Chase, the fishing trainer that's nearby. Nat Pega will then run up to you and send you on a solo scenario to rid an island full of murlocs, once they're all dead, he'll ask you to fish up all of the gloaming frenzies from the island's waters. Once you've gathered enough, you give them to Nat and he'll toss them into a small pool of water which summons a big murloc. Kill him, and you're done. Use the boat to go back to Dalaran to talk to Marsha again to finally receive your Underlight Angler. The fishing pole is actually an artifact weapon with its own traits. The only difference is to get artifact power for the rod, you go back to finding rare fish. Any rare fish caught with it will give it 50 artifact power when thrown back. Remember the brooch and the ring? These are now the best way for you to consistently get power for your rod. Also, almost any of the lures can be bought and sold in the auction house, so you can save yourself time by spending your gold. 